Hey guys, and welcome to this new Substance Designer 5 tutorial. Uh, today we are going to focus a bit on the pixel processor uh, in order to try to make um, what I call a squash node. Uh, actually, I was trying uh, just to make uh, fastly, um, not sure of the name uh, actually, um, to distort a, a square simply, and there is no um, let's say easy way to do it. Um, so basically, I say okay, let's try to do something cool in um, uh, with the pixel processor. And actually, I think I found something even cooler. So basically, for example, this is made with um, the the final squash node, and as you see, it can give really really nice patterns that are not uh, doable in other ways. So. I'm just going to reorganize my view so you can see oh, like that. I'm going to put that here on top. So here is the graph. Um, basically, it seems to be simple, but it, it's not that much. Actually, it's a tr trick because there is a pixel processor here. So basically, what I do, the pixel processor is taking uh, an input here. And then it, it, it takes, let me see, like that, um, a red and green channel that uh, will uh, set up the, the squash strength on the, the two axes, red uh, for the x axis and uh, uh, green for the y axis. And basically, after that, set, I just make a grayscale conversion with base material. I can get something like that. So let's do. Let's start from from scratch. So what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to create a new graph that we call squash node tutor. Let me see tutorials like that. Yeah, this way. Let's do 124. It would be enough to start. We can always change later. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it again because I'll just keep the name and I will delete it because uh, I want to have a ph physically based view. Okay, so what we will start with is first a checker that would help us uh, see if uh, the distortion is working. And then let's put a pixel processor. First, we are going to start without um, distortion input. We are going just to make it with with math and with num so with numbers. Mm. So we want this in color, so it was with both color and grayscale. And let's plug the checker like that. Now we are going to focus on this, on the pixel processor. We edit it. We remove the what's inside the floor, and what we need first, as almost always is to get the position value of each pixel so with the get float 2 you get you take the expose built in value uh, which in case you don't know is grabbing uh, for each pixel the, the the position actually of each pixel one by one so after you can do the map on each of these pixels so in order to work what we have to do um, is actually to say okay uh, what we want to do is to say okay for is to move this point for example to this position and to make it vary depending of the of the strength um, as you don't see the mouth I guess what I want to say is the F point for example we want to have it to the E position or D position so actually when we do it inside the uh, sub uh, substance designer in the pixel processor we have to think the way around which means we have to say okay we are at the point E 
and uh, the new value of the point A will be F. Uh, so that's a, a bit thinking uh, upside down, but that's the way it would work. So basically, that's what we're going to do. And another thing we have to think is, so we will have a strength. And um, but as you see, for example, if I look. Uh, the point won't be at the same position uh, E if we is going to, to vary on the Y axis. So we have to take in account that. So it's a bit uh, not necessarily clear right now, but you are going to get it. So basically what we're going to do is to use a swizzle node with a float. We are going to duplicate it so we catch the x and y axis sorry up i have some message took um so once we have that actually to start we are not going to think too much about the y axis i'm going to maybe use something like that so i'm going to put it here and we are going to focus on the x axis. So, what we are going to create is a float like that. Um, and this float will be our strength. So, I will add an, a name, a comment on it so we know it. Okay. So we will use it as a strength. So in order to get the value, the new value of x, what you have to say is, okay, we take the strength and we are going to create another float that will be fixed to one. And actually, in order to get the value, what we have to do first is to do a subtraction, which is one minus the float the str one minus the strength um, because actually uh, we are going to do an offset from the right so actually for example if it's a strength of 0 0.8 uh, we have to go the way around anyway that's not that important right now so right now what we are going to do is a division so we are going to Take x and divide by this new value. And we are going to now use a sampler. Um, let me show a sampler color, I guess. Let me check that here. And we are going. I have my neighbor, my colleague neighbor, that I want to ruin my my tutorial, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I am. Oops. So, get float. I was a bit lost. So here we go. So that's not what I want. It's a vector that I want. Vector float two, like that. And what we are going to Hmm, let me check. Vector, Vector. Vector float 2, this one. Okay, so right now what we're going to plug is Y inside. And this one. So this is the coordinates of the points we, uh, we want to move actually. Actually, this is the point we want to move. And this is the where we want to catch the value. So let's plug it here and let's do set as output map. So as you see it does nothing which is normal because the strength is zero. But if I move you see that of course it's moving which means that and you can see that the more the pointer on the right the, the more it moves. It's maybe clearer here. So this is nice but it's not what we want because uh, the thing is we have to take in account y the y axis because uh, the strength the maximum strength it will be at the bottom uh, so when y is one but it will diminish according 
do this. So what we're going to do now is to do multiplication. We're going to multiply the result by y and see what it gives. Uh, apparently it's not that because I'm forgetting something. That was something I was struggling around so instead of fighting too much what I will do is I will take a look is because there is a trick uh, edit okay so basically ah yeah exactly it's because you don't multiply y at the end actually you multiply the the intensity uh, here it's exposed and you remove so, so let's go back let's go back to here here edit and what we will do is plug this back here and uh, if I'm not wrong Oh no, we don't want to do that. We are going to do it like this and like this. We need to make sure. Okay, this one is a dead one. Hope it will not crash. Sometimes it doesn't have to have two two windows with the same name. So okay, so let's try now. okay it works so you see that right now we have a squash which is made here so already this is something that could interest you so once again what we do is uh, we set up a strength here then uh, we multiply the strength by the y-axis in order to make sure that it will adapt according to the height or height of the map and then um, we subtract this result from 1 and then we multiply by x and finally we catch the new coordinates where we want to take the value and we sample the color at these new coordinates so that's cool but once again what I would prefer personally is to get it from the middle here so we have to do a bit of math here so what we do first we are going to change the coordinate uh, coordinates because right now it go from 0 here to 1 here and what I want to do is to be minus 1 0 in the middle and 1 so I'm sure I can apply some symmetry on, on the effect so if you type 1 you will have this so we're going to do 0 1 to minus 1 and if I do it like this as you see it works directly I'm surprised um, let me check that it works directly oh my god it works directly I made it super complicated last time and actually that should be enough so quite cool so for example right now imagine you have uh, instead of that we take a shape like uh, like uh, this for example let's say um, you just push that a bit no not the good value ah, I have to double click on this so we see the result and right now you can play with this and play in the two cents and make something already really cool uh, now what we want to do is to apply the same thing um, actually into into the um, in the vertical axis so actually it works also in the center uh, let me see for the video I've made 15 minutes so you know why uh, we have already something interesting. Uh, I'm going to stop here and make a second video just after. So thanks for watching this one and have a good day and see you in the next video.